If the whole world was a library, every street a book, every country a trilogy, imagine what I could do. I'm a Birmingham kid, second city located in the West Mid. Lands, man's you don't want to mess with, girl of all kinds of them. Big, yeah, when I'm talking about my home city, where the road's gritty, but it's home and I know that it's all for me. When you um, go to a library, you are potentially discovering a new world. I could read something that could change the way I think about things as well, because books can influence people. It's an open resource that's friendly to use as well, that you can use at your own pace and at your own time. It's very important because it provides lots of information. You don't have to pay for books or anything, you just can borrow them and give them back. You don't have to actually pay for them, and it's fun as well. I think we're in a position where we need a core, where people can come and learn, where can, people can come and be a part of something. It's about Birmingham coming together and working as a unit. We have a city that's been evolving and growing and developing, and it, it's, it's at the heart of it has been its industrial past. You know, that's how it came to be and, and grow. Um, but the, the, the city's uh, evolving continually and, and, and uh, there is a transition now and a whole host of other industries that are emerging and opportunities and, and different communities that are present here. And I think a new flagship library would be just the perfect vehicle for doing that. I want us to have a world-class library that will cater for all the cultural aspirations within the city. But equally, it will capture why this city, a young city, all the people that came from all parts of the world, they made Birmingham their home, they prospered here, and they've left a legacy. I want the library to capture that. I hope that it will give um, identity to the city and, to the, and even give identity to the people of the city. And I want to show something uh, of the proud history of the city in the building. That's my goal. What Francine gave to us was conviction and passion to a project. It's going to be hands-on with her all the way through. And the empirical evidence around the company, Mekano, is that she captures modernity, but she'll capture the grain and the soul. One important uh, philosophy of the office is that uh, we try to reflect on where we build. So you make it together with the client and with the ingredients of the city. The philosophy of Mekan is not about a certain form or a certain style, and that we always make white buildings or blue buildings or brick buildings. It should not be just a building that is very intellectual or abstract. We want to make buildings that touch the senses. And at the same time, it should be beautiful. For me, the, the library is really the social heart of a city. Uh, it's not only about uh, books and CDs and, um, and the new media. It's also integrating the theatre into it. It's very important that there's the rep. We make a, together one lobby, one foyer, and that we will have several activities in the whole building, and that's what we try to connect. I hope that with our building, we will bring a coherence around Centenary Square. The idea is to put three palazzos next to each other. So you have the Baskerville House, which is from the 2030s. Then there is the um, Rep, a theater, it's from the 60s. And in between will be the library. Every building has its own identity of a certain period. I think it's on our task to bring all these periods together of the last century for the next century. It will be definitely a, a juxtapositioning of modernity with heritage. I think Centenary Square will certainly be invigorated with the addition of the library. This will be a stunning building and it certainly will do wonders to what Centenary Square already has. I think it's important that we make a very good building for Birmingham, but I also feel it as a responsibility to bring public space, outside public space because I think that is of the same importance as the architecture and the interior of the building.
once people start to see what it has to offer and, and, and feel, co feel confident in that new space and even excited and inspired by that new space. Um, it has the potential for not only um, enlivening the city and, and kind of raising the, the bar in terms of aspirations and, and inspiring people, but also providing a common space for people to share. Birmingham's got a lot to offer, and I think what I find so frustrating about the situation is that Birmingham's always had a lot to offer. It's time for Birmingham to be exposed outside of Birmingham so that people can kind of embrace certain things about Birmingham culture and certain gems that we've actually got here in the city. Although there are challenges within the young city that is a multi-faith, multicultural city, there is a level of harmony here that people are proud of and other city leaders look on and wish they'd achieve. Global city, local heart, that's what Birmingham is. It's 0121, Birmingham ends, you gotta go 2-1. Cause I don't want blessed to be alive and I'ma rep Birmingham City for the rest of my life.